Okay, guys, welcome back to the Fantasy Chancer, the fantasy football show that we bring you each and every Premier League game week here on the Upper Tier Podcast on YouTube. Just want to give a quick shout out to Niall and Darren, who've been pumping the content out during the World Cup. It's been absolutely fantastic. And here we are back finally with Premier League action on St. Stephen's Day. And I'm going to click into my team now and see what I'm going to do. So... What I've went for this week is Sanchez for Brighton in goals against Southampton. Southampton, a team that do not score a lot of goals and concede a lot of goals. So I think possibly they've kept one clean sheet this season, if even. If not, that's about it. So that's what I've went with this week in goals. Um, the back three, a little bit uncertain at the moment, but I'm going to go with Nathan Collins because Wolves pretty decent at the back and kind of the similar to Southampton, you know, they they don't score a lot of goals, but in fairness, they're kind of tight at the back. So not as tight as last year, but Nathan Collins at the start of the season was very, very good. Then when he got injured, or sorry, when he got suspended and then he came back, he wasn't quite the same player and Wolves weren't kind of the same team since Connor Cody went out there. The balance was kind of all over the place. In beside him then, I've went for William Saliba. Now, this is a gamble because I do not know if he will be playing or not because we've seen during the week with the Carabao Cup with Manchester City and Liverpool that certain players were playing, certain players weren't playing, and they were all kind of at the same stage of the World Cup, so it's very hard to determine if he will be playing or not. So uh, a man that will definitely be playing beside him is Sven Botman. Been a fantastic signing for Newcastle. Absolute rock at the back. And uh, in fairness to him, Newcastle, out in Saudi Arabia, warm weather training, um, been going all throughout this break, uh, while other teams had tons and tons of players away on international duty. Newcastle have been chipping away and working away, and I think quietly Eddie Howe will be thinking, this is our chance to rack up a few points potentially when the bigger sides are missing some players. Um so it's a big, big few weeks ahead for Newcastle as well. And I think they're going to kick on in form, especially against the Le- Lesser City side that have been shaky at best since the start of the season. They were trying to, they were kind of picking up a little bit of form uh, towards the end of that international break. It kind of came at a bad time for them. So it'd be interesting to see how they pick up as well. So in the midfield, I've went for Mo Salah, Aston Villa. I think that's going to be a tough game. Um similar to newcastle aston villa would have had a lot of players that weren't on international duty i know they're going to be missing the keeper martinez who had a fantastic competition on and off the pitch let's let's just say that and um he'll be a big loss to them but you know i think they'll i think they'll struggle at anfield i think liverpool will be bang on it back premier league action i think they'll have too much for them and hopefully mo salah can rekindle some of that form from last season Beside him, then, Almiron, yet again, been one of the players of the season so far, uh, both for Newcastle and the Premier League. He's been outstanding. So, goes without saying, I put him in there. Bukayo Saka went a good distance, a fair distance with England in the in the World Cup. I would definitely be expecting them to play in this Arsenal side, especially with the, the absence of Gabriel Jesus, which we'll get on to in a moment. So, I would expect Saka to play as well. West Ham, they've only conceded, I think, 15 goals. So, But they're, 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 they're far down the league, but they've only conceded 15. So, you know, I'd expect Arsenal and West Ham to be a tight game. And I could either see that being a draw or maybe Arsenal nicking a win there. Uh, Pereira, London Derby, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace like were hyped by a lot of pundits and experts at the start of the season and Vieira is doing a good job and this and that but I think they're really missing the talisman up front I know Zaha chips in from the wings and stuff like that but they really need an out and out striker I think Crystal Palace so Fulham in fairness I don't think they're going down this season which you couldn't say for any other seasons recently where they're promoted they're actually playing very well I expect them to finish top half if they continue the form that they're in up front then I have went for Harry Kane, standard. Um, 
you would think a player of his professional level won't carry the disappointment of missing that penalty in the World Cup into this game. Uh, Brentford have been dodgy enough, I think, this season. You know, they it's probably the worst season under Thomas Frank in terms of organisation and things like that. I think they're nowhere at the level that they need to be. And I can expect Tottenham winning out this one, in fairness. Uh, beside him then, Callum Wilson, as I say, Newcastle. Obviously, Callum Wilson wasn't on the training break with them, but he played very little minutes in the World Cup, provided a fantastic unselfish assist in their game. In one of the games, I can't remember off the top of my head, it was the one they won easily. And then beside him, Erling Haaland, captain. Who's seen that coming? The man that's been sitting at home for six weeks, top scorer in the league by a country mile. You would expect him to run riot against Leeds. But... You just don't know what leads either. Obviously, if you can see, my bench here is pretty, pretty scattered. So I have Henderson there. So what have we got? Ineligible to play against parent club. Okay, so that's Manchester United. He can't play. Kurt Zuma. Let's see what Kurt Zuma. Knee injury, 25% chance of playing. He's not playing. Nico Williams will come in for Saliba then if he does play. And that's Manchester United away, which is a clean sheet is not not likely and Somerville 75 percent chance of playing well he could well play in that so that's what I've went for this week so if we go into our league the upper tier I am 23 out of 45 I believe we're still on 45 or oh, down to 42 I think a few players might have dropped out but um yeah 23 836 and up at the top we have Graham Ward on 947. So it's still a very, very open league in fairness. And um, we're about at the halfway point now. Things are really going to pick up after Christmas. And um, looking forward to having the proper football back. Happy St. Stephen's Day. Have a great time. And if I slurred a little bit, it's because there's a bottle of Jemison gone. Cheers, guys.